All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back to... Let me turn up my sound a little bit. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Uh, there we go. And I am here with n nobody else, just me, actually. There we go. Uh, yeah. So we're not playing Unite today. We are playing Sword. Uh, oh, and I wanted to... Do I want the Mary Christ up that high? I guess I do. Whatever. Fuck it. Uh, if my sound's too loud, just let me know. But uh, today we are trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today we are trying to beat the game. So, um, yeah, when we last finished, we had just beat Raihan. Um, I actually did a little bit of leveling. We now do have a level 100 Colossal. Um, so what we're working with in terms of stats is this. We got 336 HP, 192 attack, 312 defense, 90 speed, 206 special defense, and uh, 186 special attack. Uh, we are full Dynamax level. Right now we're working with Heat Crash, Earthquake, Scald, and Body Press. <coughs> um, still relaxed. No ribbons. So, first thing we clearly need to do is go heal up. Oh, and we have a shitload of TRs. Um, I did some raiding the other day, so we are all set on that. Yep. Alright. Yep, and, um, sorry if you can hear the noise. There is a very loud air conditioning unit that's across the street. Yes, that's how loud it is. Um, oh wait, that's not loud. Alright. Come on, 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 come on. Bullshit. Yeah, it's because I only have one Pokemon. Um, okay, so... Actually, you know what? Uh... Oh, wait. That's not what I want. Ah! This is Ox's brother. Uh, I'd probably buy some more max potions. Maybe just buy 20 more. You get a lot of money in this game, so... Yeah, that seems fine. Um, I don't know, maybe some full heals. 10, 10 full heals. Seems good. Okay. Alright. Bye-bye. Oh. Shoot. So I'm trying to think of whether I actually want Heat Crash going into this last bit. One downside to Heat Crash is that... Oh, wait. Where do I need to go now? Hammerlock Station. What the fuck is that? One downside of Heat Crash is that it can't actually hit a um, Dynamax Pokemon. It just has no effect on them, so... Okay, there's the train station. Alright, let's go there. Boom. Alright. Alright, Hop, let's go! Jesus Christ. Even Raihan's annoyed by Hop. Okay, we'll do it. So I think at this point we're headed up to Winden. Yo, right on those calves, girl. Yep. Back on the train. Oh, we just fucking scroll through Twitter on the train. That's all we ever do. Yay, we're headed for Winden. Amazing, we can look at all the sights out the train window. Nope, just stare at our phones. Guys, look out the fucking window. There's some interesting stuff going on out there. Nope. Just stare at your phone the whole time. Okay, okay.
All right. I actually cannot get stronger. Like, I, I literally can't. So I'm just gonna probably head up the hill. There's always a doctor. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like the victory road of uh, Gen 8. There's always a doctor, though. Um, Gen 5, I believe, has this, like, basically the same person. Like, this doctor -y person that just shows up. And he's like, oh, do your Pokemon need healing? And then he fights you. So I'm like, yeah, they need healing now. Actually, he didn't gain that. Your Pokemon ended up dead, bro. Oh. Ah! I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, I am long past the water gym, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, the water gym was actually pretty tough. Um, yeah, that was a rough one, but we didn't make it through. We made it through. At this point, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I probably don't outweigh this guy, so... Oh, okay. Uh, there's a chance the dig just straight up kills me. Fortunately, uh... Hey, thanks, Donsuke. Um... Appreciate appreciate the drop in. Ow. Fortunately I heal for what is that? Exactly twenty one? Oh right, because hail does the sixteenth and then you heal it back. Mudsdale coming in. Okay, so we got a ground type. We can use the old scald. We have solid enough special attack that that actually, like, fucks someone up, usually. Okay. Alright. I mean, we might as well fight all these people, mostly for money, if nothing else. We're not gonna get any X buff them. But that's okay. Uh, Alright. Shit, pressure. Okay, well, we can use Heat Crash anyway. Wow, fast fucking Revile. Although, not really, because I literally have 90 speed. Like. Claydol coming out. Uh, I cannot remember the typing of Claydol. I'm assuming it's ground type. I think it's like ghost ground or something. Maybe psychic ground? I don't really remember. Um, no. No one's gonna call you a battle man because you suck at battling. Oh, that's an actual British myth about the, what, the ravens that sit outside the Tower of London? Um, I think if the, if those ravens ever fly away, then, like, Britain's doomed or whatever. 
Alright, so can't use Earthquake against this guy. Um, let me use crush. He's probably pretty heavy, so this might not do that much damage. Oh, just kidding. Ooh, a Flygon. Alright, um... I think Scald is probably still the best move here, because it also can result in a burn. Well, that's fast. Fortunately, he's low enough level that we are able to survive that. Um, a stabbed up Earthquake... Hey, who dat? Who dat? Stabbed up Earthquake is one of the things I fear most. I done law. Hello, and welcome to our stream. Oh, there's a bear deck. Man, you can get me from all the way over there. It's lame. Hiker Donald Trump. Out comes Gigalith. Probably knows the ground move. That's the only real downside here. Oh. So, I think it's not hailing anymore, right? Just hit him with the old Scald. Scald again. All right. Yep, let's fight. Gentleman Glenn. Darmanitan, who is an ice thing in this game. In this regional form. Hit him with the old heat crash. Oof. Okay, that should be really resisted. Yeah. Oh, that's lame. Try it again, heat crash. Icicle crash is a fine move. It's not It's not gonna be good enough against the fire rock type. There we go. All right. Man, this guy's got like a bazillion. Uh, we can just use heat crash against this little dude. Is Falcon's a bug type or just pure fighting? I think pure fighting. But I'm not totally sure. It looks like a bug. It looks like it should be bug type. We're just. Heal him back and forth that same 21 points of health. Um, this is a tricky one. Let's try a heat crash just because of the. Okay. Is grapple locked not a water type? That strikes me as odd. 
I like how he said that your Pokemon is simply Marvelous, not R. I don't have to fight the reporter because I only have one Pokemon. That has been one big advantage of this run is I don't have to do optional double battles. So it has helped keep my speed low. Or my, no, <laughs> my overall game time low. All right, y'all. Well, we just made it to Winden. I believe. Yep, there's Hop. Alright, so Winden is like a city. Um, and as far as I remember, this is the Pokemon League. Oh, this is London. Winden. London. Got it. Definitely was not paying enough attention to the little details last time we played this. All right, you do that. I do want to stop in a poke center first, though. Yep, yep. Alright, uh, let's see. So, I think we want to remember move. Give me Ragnarok. And... It'd be really nice to have the TR... Oh, shit! I forgot about something I was supposed to do. Hold on. Uh, before we do any of this... Uh, okay. I was supposed to look something up. So, um, damn. Damn, I should have done this earlier. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, did I heal up? Probably, but I'm gonna do it again, just in case. Okay. I'm gonna go outside and double check that I have the taxi location for Winden. Oh, yeah, I took. Oh, no, no. God. I know I can see a rare Pokemon at Wedgehurst. Okay, so, town map. Okay, first things first, I do have the taxi location for Winden, so that's good. But I actually need to go all the way back to Turfield. Yes. Now the trick is, I don't quite know where I'm going. I think it's up this way. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so now I've got Solar Beam. Um, cool. Okay, so. I guess we can just town map back up. Okay, uh, cool. Yep. All right, and let's just double check. Um, well, actually, now that we have Solar Beam. So, this is an odd one because you wouldn't think that our, um, Colossal could learn Solar Beam, but it can. Um, I can switch out Body Press, but I don't really want to. Um, the one. I may actually switch out Heat Crash, but that will give me no 
I don't really want to do that. I'm going to hang on to Sword Game. Um, but I want to look through and see oops, what other TMs I have. I was really hoping that I had... I do. Okay. So I'm going to put in Flamethrower. Actually, hold up. We're going to replace Heat Crash, which I can always get back, with Flame Tour. Oh, I hope I can get Heat Crash back. I think so. Save. Okay. So we've been going for 16 hours, 45 minutes. Which I think is pretty good. Feels pretty good to me. And now we're off to Wyndon Stadium. I think you can go in these houses and through the parks and whatever, but I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm not going to. I am going to stop at this Pokestop because if I uh, die here, I want to respawn here and not like back in the main city of London. Okay, so now I have. Uh, No, I don't care about the rare Pokemon at Wedger Station. Jesus. Jesus. Let's go on the bike. Let's go. Yes! Oh, wait. Gotta talk to the ball guy. Dream ball, baby. Okay. I don't have a single Pokemon that knows either of those moves. Okay. Yep, let's check them over. Well, I think Bead found another thing. Okay, semifinals starting soon. Let's fucking go. I'm assuming my semi-final match is... What against? Oh, Marnie! Hi, Marnie! She looks so cute in her little uniform. Alright. I will not take it personally when I fucking destroy you, Marnie. Let's go. Alright, Pokemon Trainer Marnie coming in. Leapard! Probably outspeeds me. <laughs> okay, Ragnarok. Let's Ragnarok the house. Oh, body press. Boom. Ooh, it's a Scrafty. So she does have five Pokemon total. Um, this will be the second. Body press is a pretty insane move to have on uh, Colossal. Toxic Croak. Okay. Oh, you bitch. Oh, 
Those heels are coming in clutch. More Pico in. Who I fought before. Let's just hit him with the body press. Okay, can't use the same move twice. Alright. You're not. It's very clear that you're not. Ooh, Grim Snarl. Okay, probably needs a Dynamax here. I'm gonna go for the Max Knuckle. Because I'm assuming that she's gonna Dynamax, although it's Marnie who might not Dynamax. Alright, let's. Go. At least it's not a gigantic ice cream snow. Cause that one looks so creepy. Max Knuckle! Okay. And what is it? What? Gotta hit with Max Knuckle again, I guess. Alright. Oh, I made it through. Sweet! <clears throat> Hey, Marnie put up a pretty good fight. Yes, there were. It's true. You're a good sport, Marnie. In the final match. You're not going to be in the final match. Okay. Should check my... Oh, falls. Wait. Does that mean... Oh, moves are all back up. Cool. Okay, guess we're up against top. Uh, if we are, this should not be crazy tough. Um, yep. Yeah, 17 hours ago when we were in Postwick. Um, and now we're in the Championship Cup, I guess. All right, let's go, Hop. That is so unnecessarily dramatic. All right, we're against a double normal type. We can hit with the good old uh, fighting move. One of the things that's crazy about this game is how just how low level these. Um, because this is really end game at this point. Um, but these Pokemon are like level 48. 
Usually E4 you get hard map. Um, although, I can't really remember how the end game of this one works. Like, there may be more... Oh, he's got a Snorlax. Good catch, but it's not going to make a difference. Alright, Pin Kirchen. Maybe it's a poison type? Is that right? Maybe water poison? Not sure. Somehow Earthquake is super effective, so there you go. Hmm. We got Corviknight in. We can use a fire move against him. It's also a special fire move. Um, both flying and steel types tend to have high physical defense, so using a special move tends to be better. Okay. His last type is Cinderace. Um, we probably don't need to do this, but I am going to Dynamax. Um, let me just hit with Max Geyser. Yeah. Alright. Let's go, Hulk. Oh. Roar. Roar. Talk about a cover move. Let's see this. Wow. Okay. I like how that did 48 damage. Or did it even? It did 24 damage. like, dude, I totally bodied you using techniques I learned from Lee. I'm like, no, girl. Alright, well, that match is over. There is another round of this, because <clears throat> at some point you get to fight, like, all the gym trainers again. Yeah, the victor of the semifinals. So this is the final match of the semifinals, which is weird. Okay. So we did that. But now there's going to be trouble. Alright, Lee. There were tears rolling down your face because your brother lost, or, or what? This must be a restaurant. Or a hotel. This is a hotel. Got it. No, leave me alone. Thank you for the great match, of course. 
Um, I'm not sure. I like how there's only two press people. He never shows up, does he? <laughs> Thank you, Pierce, for making fun of uh, Hop. <sighs> Rose Tower. Let's do it. Let's do it. For once in the final like stage thing, the team is on our side. I hate Team Yell. So stupid. Interfere with a meeting. Oh, God damn it. Right, we gotta find this guy. Why would the yelling help? So that's not the one. Uh... Got him. Macrocosmos. What? That's new. He's got a Galarian Meowth. And take him out with a quick flamethrower. That's clutch. But well, why did we let him get away? Okay, so these guys are still the same. So they don't switch places, that's good to know. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right, Malwile coming in. <coughs> that should just be a flamethrower, I think.
Alright. Please be speed. Damn it. Flamethrower again, I guess? It's a steel type. So. Should work. Yep. Alright. Got him again. Uh, can we get the key now? Fucker. Okay. Well, he ran off this way, so... Is this him? Not him. How about this guy? Bro, where did he go? Is this him? Nope. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Get out of there. You will not. Yep, looking for clowns. What a dumb... Ugh. Yeah, Cam, I definitely forgot about the uh, two-part tournament. So I did the first part, the semifinals, which was actually two matches. But there is still the finals, which I think is pretty involved. And more like a classic E4 to champ idea. Thank you, Marnie. Ooh, attack up. Well, we can use anything on this guy. Jesus. Um, let's use Flamethrower since we get the stab. Going for the monorail. Okay. Well, shit. going to sing a humble song. Ah. Very clever. Oh, they're jamming. Everybody's coming down to see the concert? Yep. Leaving the uh, monorail wide open. Well done, Pierce. You can't, you don't Dynamax, but you can sure throw a hell of a concert. Oh boy. It's Rose Tower. Very tall hop. Very tall. It's like at least five. Let's go ahead. I like how Hop is just single mindedly focused in on this idea of winning the Champion Cup. Alright. Pierce, how the fuck did you get here so fast? Yeah, we're trying. We're trying, homie. Alright. 
Let's go, Hop. Thanks for the battle, Pierce. In we go. Macrocosmos again. This must be the like team. This must be Rose's uh, secret project. Macrocosmos. We'll find out more later. I think there's like a bunch of trainers that we have to fight on our way up the elevator or something. That sounds right to me. Oh no! We took away this guy's hopes for the future. I like how we took all his money and now he agrees to help us. Because he lost a children's card game. Alright. Rose Tower. Up we go. Yeah, I, I, I think so too, because it's loud as fuck. Um, the AC unit, ah, uh, damn it. AC unit across the street is loud as hell. Macrocosmos Corporation. Interesting. Okay. So Macrocosmos is a company. Oh great, we have a double battle. Well, I can probably take on a bronze on. Unless he's got like heat shield or whatever. Why would you use body slam on a steel type? Ah, uh, he's paralyzed him. Okay, there goes Bronze on. Yep. Uh, we can probably use, what, Body Press on a Steel type? We're hop, we'll just keep using Body Slam. Yeah, should just let me go, dude. Yes, you have. Why is that so loud? Oh my god. Presence of the walls constructed with light. Okay. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Hal. Alright. And we'll slow down again. There we go. It's almost a thousand feet tall, and we're now about 500 feet above the ground. Which means we probably have one more thing, and then Macrocosmos Insurance. No, I do not have a life insurance policy, but you're going to need one. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Okay, so we got Clang and Mawile. Mm, attack down. Let's just try this. It might not work. Why would you turn? Dumbass. All 
Alright. That works great. Earthquake really claps cheeks. MC Insurance. Wait, a Machoke is 10 feet tall? Maybe what she's saying is it's well over. Our insurance doesn't pay off for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Well, now, just go to a Poke Center. You can heal your Pokemon for free. Socialism, baby. So, MC are the capitalists, but we're going to beat them with our socialist evil ways. Alright, here's the third stop. We're going to get people in from the right. And one more double battle. Um, so the question is, is Hop going to pop out his double, who I just fainted, or is he going to put in another Pokemon? Steelix and Stunfisk. And Hop sends out... Double! Oh wait, I didn't faint the double. Double's just at like 50 health, which, no more. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing. And Earthquake it. Hop, stop! Learn another move, homie. Oops. Sorry, double. Okay, well, we won the battle anyway. And that should be... So we should have just been 750 feet up. Look at that! Next floor, that's going to be the roof. Macrocosmos Air. Why is this guy so mad about the how elevators work? Well, of course we're not on the same level. We're trying to get there using the elevator. The higher you go, the more important people you find there. Uh, debatable. Debatable. Alright. Oh, got healed again. Up we go, and presumably now we're at the top. Yep, we're at the top. Uh, oh shit, it's Oleana. Oh shit. Okay. So I have to win this for the fate of Lee. Oh, girl, you probably shouldn't have started with an ice type. Alright. One down, four to go. Melodic. I don't really have a... I don't have solar beams, so this sucks. I'm use earthquake, though. Stupid move to start with. Why would you not have a water attack move? Alright, let's burn a move we don't really need. Scald. That might KO. Nope. I'm too powerful at this point. And now I'm fast as fuck. So, my 90 speed there goes up to 225. Let me do heal some of that health back. This is Salazzle, poison fire type. Hit him with a little bit of an earthquake. Four times effectiveness. 225 speed means he's not moving first. Hello, pop up.
And we heal a little more health back. Sarina coming in. That's not great for her because she's part grass. Again, because of that surf hit, steam engine activated and we're now over 200 speed. Uh, boom, clapped. And another heal. Brings us to 276. Girl, you're not going to finish this. That's not how this happens. Garbodor, good last choice. Like, being serious. Oh, she's going to... Oh. Oops. I probably should have Gigantum... Or Dynamax. <coughs> I like how she can barely hold it. Ah. That truly is a Gigantamax Garbodor. Earthquake still one hits. That's what you get when you let your heart win. That melodic was the only one that really scared me. That's that's true. What wishing star? Yes, we are. Me and Colossal. You're very good, Hop. It's too bad that you suck, Oleana. I love how Lee's like, what the fuck? Global warming? Who cares? The tournament is tomorrow. Sports! Sports, Rose! We gotta play sports. We gotta play Pokemon sports. Look around us. The energy will be exhausted in a thousand years. Who gives a shit? The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. Won't you also be gone? So it's fine. Unless this is actually uh, the uh, as from Gen 6. Lee is going to help Rose as long as the tournament happens tomorrow. I like how Lee's like, oh, I'll help you with your evil plan as long as I get to play a children's card game. Um, we're just cool with letting the evil guy go free. Alright. Rose is going to change the course of history. You also have a tournament? Hell yeah. You've had Butterfree in your stomach? <laughs> Shut up, Hop. Oh, you're a good one. It's true. Yeah, the Cosmos team. Macrocosmos, that's what it is. Yes. That it actually saves so much time to have the people who ask you that kind of thing just teleport you around. Uh, let's just check on... Okay. Well, be nice to know who I was fighting. 
I think they tell you. Oh, the ball guy. Ball guy. Ball guy. Get out of my way, everybody. Oh, god damn it. He's still just giving me the dream ball. He gave me that yesterday. Lame. Ball. Alright. Yep. So this is like the E4, I believe. Um, yeah. This is just all these fuckers. Okay. Uh, it would be really nice to know the schedule. Nope. Can't check it. Okay. Opening ceremony for the finals. Yes. Let's do it. Leon! Alright, Leon. Chairman's tied up with some business. That sounds suspect. I'm suspicious of that answer. Okay, well, that'd be me, so. Let the finals begin! Wait, you. Oh, mother fu- Are you kidding me? It's Bead. Bead, you are shitty at this. Okay, fine. I'll make you retire. so bad for him. Oh, wow. Whatever, homie. Alright. Yeah, I was gonna say, here come the fairy types. Although... My wild fairy? Steel fairy? What a weird combo. Ooh, attack cut. But that doesn't affect my special attack. Both fire and earth would be good against steel. Yeah. Earth? Ground. Uh, Gardevoir in. Psychic. We can probably just hit with another flamethrower. Oh, wow. Girl, you fast. That was 60 damage uh, on a crit. So, that's fine. Rapidash coming in. Ooh. Have I fought a Rapidash yet? Apparently not. Uh, I'm gonna try Flamethrower. Okay, that works. And we're back over 300. Actually, no, we're almost to 300. I do. I'm very confident about that. Yeah, alright. Let's do the Dynamax thing. Let's do it. All Dynamax. Yell Dynamax, we're all gonna Dynamax, and, uh, yeah. There you have it. 
Still love that I have 674 health while dynamaxed. Oh what? No um Oh it's it's not Hatterene isn't the one that turns into a cake. Oh bullshit. What? Two questions. Two questions. First of all, why does Hatterene know Max Flare? Second of all, why in God's name would you use it against a fire rock type? Third of all, why would you use it against a Pokemon that knows Steam Engine? So dumb. Yeah, of course, the Full Restore. But here's the thing. Max Flare does more damage because the sunlight is harsh now. So this might KO. And it does. That was some match. No, just be the fairy type dream lighter. It's fine. Yeah. See, we good. I think the AC unit's actually off for a second. Let's see. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, I think I need to restore my Pokemon. No, apparently I don't. Look at that. Um, is there anything I can, let's see, uh, do, 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 do. Well, apparently I only have 11 rare candies. Okay. I guess I used six of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Just making sure. I got a new Pokeball that was the Dream Ball. Oh, I should actually save while I'm here, and then I'll, I'll get a time check. 17.32, doing pretty good. So I guess I must have been at 16 hours. A little bit, when I uh, was on Sunday Update the other day. I thought it was at 14-something, but I think that's not quite right. Oh, yeah, who am I against? Fuck me! Okay. I really wish I had put in Solar Beam. I can't use... Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Well, she does have the Dreadnought Ace. Hopefully still. Okay, so that's a Bug Water type. Okay, so Earthquake's gonna be fucking useless through this round. Sonia might be dis. Whoa. How do you know Sonia, girl? Um, okay, so Flamethrower actually is neutral damage. So I'm actually gonna go with that. Yep. Barrascuda. Okay, here, let's see. Ground does normal damage against water. So, what's hit with Earthquake? Okay, this is gonna hurt. But, it's also gonna raise my speed. Now we're working with 225 speed. Let's go. Okay. Got the bear skewed to down. 
Okay. A little bit of health back. 270. That's that's work. That's workable. Uh, and we should be able to move first this time. Great. Okay. And we're creeping back to full. Okay, can't use Earthquake this time because that is a Pelipper, Flying type. Ground move won't affect it. Drizzle makes it rain. Okay. Uh, with Pelper, Pelper will have really high physical defense. None of these moves are very effective. So let's go for Scald. Special attack. And might get a burn. There it is. I don't know why you'd be preparing to use the flying move. Burn doing some damage. I'm gonna try to double down and use Scald again. Yep, full restore. There it is. Hopefully uh, we can land a Scald again and get the burn. No burn that time. Too bad. Almost back to full health. And we should get to move first. Yep. I was going to say, unless you use the full restore. Which we appear to be safe from. Okay. And that gets us to full health. And then we should have Dreadnought coming out. There it is. Alright, so we're Dynamaxing and hitting with Max Knuckle. Earthquake would be the better move if we were not Dynamaxed, but um, they're both pretty much the same once we are Dynamaxed, since uh, both ground or fighting would be a super effective move against a uh, rock type opponent. We'll just use Max Knuckle, that'll send our attack up. Not a kill, which is too bad. But pretty damn close. And that should make it so even if she full restores. This is gonna be Max Geyser. No, why would you... Wait, what is that? Oh. That was interesting. Okay. And Max Knuckles should knock out. Okay, so that was probably our toughest battle for the whole game. And we're past it. Which is great. We didn't even need solar beam. Okay, so let's see if they give us the... Hell yeah. Sonya was saying... Why are you talking to Sonya so much, girl? What are you guys hanging out? What are you guys hanging out? I want to hang out with you guys. Okay, so let's see. I beat Nessa, which means I'm moving up against Bea, the fighting type. Fuck. Uh, 
Okay, do we have, let's see, fighting is weak to what? Flying, psychic, and fairy. Well, I can't learn any of those. So that's great. Um, right behind her is going to be Raihan. I think we're already pretty much set to deal with Raihan. And are we good? We don't need to restore? Guess not. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like things that would be good to have against fighting. But... I don't think I can learn any flying loops, so this is just pretty much my kit. I guess one of the thing to consider would be like which fighting guys does Bea actually have, but I don't remember her being. Oh, you know what? Bea was kind of a pain because fighting against Rock. And the downside here, well, okay, there's an upside and there's a downside. The upside is that I'm not going to be dealing, well, unless she has a ground Pokemon, I'm not going to be dealing with any uh, 4x effective attacks. Well, uh, I guess unless she has someone with a water move or a ground move. Oh fuck, Paulucha would have been easy to deal with if I had a rock move. Now, it's still easy to deal with because I'm level 100. Oh. Wow. Okay, so at least that was a crit. Flamethrower should KO. Yep. Okay, uh, getting those leftovers back some health. Phalanx coming in. Uh, Windsor. What I'd really like is to get hit with a fire move. Um, because if that happens, my speed's going up, up, up. Don't really want to get hit by a water move. Definitely don't want to get hit by a, uh, oh. Shit. I was able to take out Grapplock the last time with Flamethrower. I'm going to try Max Flare this time. I've taken out two of her Pokemon, so if I can one-hit, 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 then I'm good. Ooh. Max Flare makes the weather sunny. So, I now can spam fire moves and do more damage. The fucking Onion Knight down there. There's two. And next up we have Bea's Ace. Which is... I don't remember. Uh, is it a Machamp? Yep. Shit. Fighting does not resist itself, so I could have used Max Knuckle here, but instead I'm going to use Flamethrower uh, for two reasons. First of all, special attack. Second of all, fire gets the stab bonus. And fire is not resisted by fighting, so it's fun to use. Plus we got Sunny Day that's uh, powering up all fire moves. Including Max Flare itself. And there we go. Boom. 
show me right. That was fun. Okay, Bay has been defeated. Challenger Flynn has shown his skill. Thanks for a wonderful match. You're welcome, Bay. Did you just do this? I'll do that back. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. I guess it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. That seems a little extreme. I don't think it was all that good. Okay, so it's me versus Raihan. Fire against ground is neutral. Fire against rock, though, is resisted. I think I'm gonna go for solar burn. Uh, it should be somewhere near the bottom. Wait, I have seed bomb. Can't mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's at the bottom. Because I picked it up the last. Yeah, so this is going to be a little weird, but I am going to drop flamethrower. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, no. What about that? Yeah. Hmm. Grass will not be super effective against dragons. Okay, never mind. Really want to use solar beam, guys. I should have had it on for the Nessa fight. Never gonna get to use it now. Time check, we're at 1746, that makes sense. 1747. Alright. Come on, Raihan. Let's do this stupid double battle. It's actually not a double battle here, is it? It's gonna be me, yeah. Okay, well, first of all, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Bow, bow. Uh, I did beat you once. You are the same. You have the same stupid hat. Hey, Raihan, send out your Pokemon one by one like a normal fucking person. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot he switches around his whole fucking team. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I know. And he gets to use it, same turn. Wow, 27 damage. Good job, Torkoal. Of course he did. Okay, so now we're gonna Scald again, hope we get the burn. What the fuck is my hair doing? Okay, that's a little better. No burn. Okay. There's Torkoal down. Only took three tries. Flygon is now in. So we got a couple options here. First of all, ground does not resist itself. 
So we can use the Earthquake. Uh, we also have Scald, which is super effective on the ground part, but not very effective against the uh, Dragon part. And we have Body Press, which just straight up doesn't interact with either type. Um, Scald is not a bad option because of the burn, but Earthquake does do more damage. Um, let's go with Scald, try to get a burn on. That's just annoying. Because that's just... Yeah. That's just annoying. That's not even damaging either of us, is it? Because I'm a rock type, I don't think I take damage from... Okay. Scald, pretty solid, and we did get the burn down, which probably means Raihan is healing next turn. Uh, we can try Scald again. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Even the stabbed up Earthquake cannot compete with my 200 defense. I don't care what kind of attack Flygon has. 200 defense can match it, and then some. Okay, we know that Duraludon is the ace, so we have Gudra coming in. Gudra, I believe, is pure dragon. But we haven't fought one before, so I'm not totally sure. Um, in that case, let's just try an Earthquake and see what happens. Yeah, that does it. Turdinator, the fire dragon type. So this is, uh, let's see. We can use a ground move, like Earthquake, which would be super effective here. And sure enough, that gets us the kill. There we go. You will not. Here comes Duraludon, though. Okay. So, we are going to Dynamax, and I'm going to use Max Knuckle here. Um, oh, wait. Hold up. No, I'm going to use Max Quake. I didn't realize that Max Knuckle was so much lower power than most of the other Dynamax moves. Shout out to Blue Lady Grey T. So good. Dynamax. Um, there's the Max Knuckle. Look at that. Does a solid 34 damage. And that does put his attack up, which is too bad. But we are hitting back with Max Quake, which knocks out. All right, folks, we're done with the finals. I like how he has a flying Rotom phone. Alright. Okay, so we won the finals. That gives us the ability to challenge Leon. But. Ryan's like, man, I hate these youngsters. Or will I?
Big moment's finally here. I like how Cinderace is taller than Hop. Play Ace. Thanks, Cinderace. And I guess you hop. Oh, should have saved. I can still save in the tunnel, right? Okay. Finals at 1755. And out we go. Leon's actually here. I think we have to do some story stuff, though. It's true. They're very cool. You're right, Leon. It's gonna be Rose. My man's bringing around the darkest day. Oh shit. This is happening all over Dollar. Not good. Yeah. Things are too crazy to have a Pokemon match right now. We were almost killed playing a children's card game. Okay, let's... Yeah. You should have realized what he intended to do. He is terrible at directions. Damn it! That's his defining character trait. You can help. No hop. You gotta help. Summering weld. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Do we like teleport there? Nope. Yep. Sonia! Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey! Here to stop the darkest day. Yep. What am I taking? Three max revives. Sonya, I'm on a one Pokemon challenge. That's not going to help me. Bye, Mom. Bye, Sonya. I literally can't hear you anymore, Mom. I'm in the woods. I, I guess so? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be legendary. Wall. Yeah, let's do the bike. Fuck. I would like to run away from a level three rookie. Bee. Oh no, I can't eat berries because I'm scared of a level three rookie. Bee. Okay, it's debatable whether the bike actually saved any time. Fuck me. Wish I could steer. OK. 
Okay. No wall of fog yet. That doesn't mean that will stay. Oh, what's over there? Uh, how do I get up there? Oh man, this is bullshit. Oh wait, wait. I get up there? I don't actually know. Weird. Uh, maybe we go this way? Oop. No, not that way. Oh, shit. Four star. Very cool. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get off the bike for a second. Phantom Force, baby. I probably can't use that. Why are there so many, uh, wheezing? Hey, Hop. Is it? I think it's better. Oh, now it's worse. Holy shit! in the fog. Uh, girl, you are late. Are you sure you haven't lost the plot? Well, we're trying to find the plot, Sonya. Ooh, Zashin and Zamazenta. I believe Pretty sure they mentioned Zacian on the stream from the Pokemon Presents last week. Or Nintendo Direct, whatever it was. Because I've always thought Zacian, but I think they said Zacian. <gasps> Yay! It's the thingamajig. Yes, it does. It's very pretty. Ooh. Looks like there's a rusted sword and a broken shield. A gravestone. Hmm. All right, back we go. Can I take a flying taxi from here? Or not? It'd be pretty cool if I could. Pretty cool game. Pretty cool. Nope. I'm gonna leave the world as fast as I can. No! Ah! Oh! 
I ran into Corviknight. Oh my god, it's gonna be so high level. Well, okay, it actually is decently high level. Seriously, I couldn't dodge the Muna. Muna's like, ah, I'm a Muna. God, Muna in like Gen 5 was so cool. Run. What does Forewarn actually do? Like, does that just warn about one of the four moves, or does it... Ah! Hey, it's a Gubbin! Hey, Gubbin! Oh, no. Oh. Really don't need to waste time on a level 2 Grubbin. That'll give me like 4 experience. Just don't need that. Motherfucker! Blood Thug! Hi, Blood Thug. Also, do not need to waste a move on this guy. Oh, nope. Now that I'm here, I can call a taxi. To Hammerlock, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna go right to Hammerlock. Yep. This should drop me off right outside the... Get off the fucking bike, dude. Okay, let's just make sure we're healed up. I press A so fast. Hey, it's Masaru! What's up, my homie? Maybe I'll see a rare Pokemon at Wedgehurst. Yes, unfortunately, there's a very loud air conditioning unit across uh, the... It's actually across the street. Um, that's how loud it is. Yeah, it's on the roof of a different building. And unfortunately, we can hear it very clearly up here. Um... I, I want to find a way to like block out the sound or something, but that would also, I think, require blocking the window, so I don't necessarily want to do that, but for light reasons, but it's almost worth it because, like, goddamn is that loud. Of course I am. All right, let's do this. Okay, so, going into Hammerlock Stadium. Oh, it's Oleana, you motherfucker. I don't care. You're not even wearing a real shirt. It would, yeah, it would be nice to have a noise canceling mic. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have one. I have like a. I think it's meant to be sort of like an area microphone, so like it captures kind of everything, which is why like I get this. Um, I can try switching to my other mic, but I think it's gonna be worse, not better. Um, yeah, I can always invest in a better mic at some point, but for now, this is unfortunately what we got. Ooh, so what is Soul Link? Tell me about that. Oh, you fucks went and opened the egg. You've woken the hive, you dumb bitch. Stop in the darkest day. Oh, shit. He summoned Eternatus. He broke open the giant titanium egg. All right, Chairman Rose. 
Let's see your god tier Pokemon team. Fucking Macrocosmos. Escavalia! Oh, he's. Escavalier? Seriously? It's actually a pretty good choice, all things considered, but. Bro, Flamethrower. No, I don't, I don't think it. No. I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, Ferrothorn. So, Flamethrower. Man, first time I ran this fight, uh, first time I ran this game, I started Grookey. So, Rillaboom, at this point, um, this fight was slightly harder. Wait, all Pokemon will be linked if one... Holy shit, dude. So, if you have one faint, you're done. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, so you, you're you pairing your Pokemon. And if one of the pair faints, the other... That's intense. Man, Pokemon Challenge people come up with, like, so many rules. Like, there's so many different challenges. It's pretty wild, man. Uh, Masaru, when are you streaming? Because I would actually be pretty down to watch some of this soul-link stuff if I have time. Down to his last Pokemon. No, it's not looking good, you dumbass. Because you're not good at this. You should stick to chairmaning. No, I know, yeah, I know it's on Twitch, but do you know when? Like, do you have times figured out? see your move that's going to hit really hard. Ooh. Gigantamax Kuparaja. Kuparaja. I mean, cool Pokemon. Very cool. Oh, 6.30pm. Weekdays and weekends. Ooh. Except Wednesday. Well, I'll try to join in um, at some point. Um, that's sometimes a difficult time for me, but sometimes it's, it works. So uh, evenings are generally bad, which is like weird. Um, but yeah, I have a couple days a week that like I could probably join in. See what's going on. Unfortunately, now I'm gonna start having class. Um, yeah, I know your EST because I think you're down in North Carolina, right? You're on East Coast. Like, I'm in Maryland, so that's, that's easy. Um, Alright, we got 11k for... Hell yeah. Soul Link on Friday. Okay, sounds good. Soul Link on Friday. Anything more I can do down here? Okay, head up via the lift. That makes sense. Yeah, no, but it sounds really cool. Like, I, I would actually like to see that. Um, I'm, like, so bad at this game that challenges are... Oh, fuck! That's a big dragon! Okay. Wow.
Do I have? Big dragon. Bro, I don't think you can just catch a Termitus. Nah, he's gonna be pissed. He blew up the Pokeball? Oof. Yamper's not getting that one back. Now he's gonna Dynamax. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, right, like with a single Pokeball? That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem right. Okay, well... We can hit him with the old Earthquake. That actually, I think, should have killed him. Pretty sure you can't. Yeah, right? A quick ball, at least. Probably should have caught. But it's the one Pokemon challenge, man. I can't. Can you even catch a turn test at that point? I don't think you can. Yeah, because he turns into, like, this guy. The giant hand. I don't think you can catch him in that first fight. I think that's what Leon's trying to show you when he, uh... Does he have traffic cones on the end of his fingers? Look again, it's a show's hand again. Oh, They definitely changed the finger models. It's huge! That's what she said. Let's take it on together, Flynn. That's what she said. Okay, so. I'm trying Earthquake. Are we asleep? At least we can... Oh. Well, that sucks. Yeah, why don't we... Why don't we use those? Nope. Just gotta wait for Hop's dumbass to figure this one out. Okay. Oh, I got it. Oh, alarm's going off. Ten o'clock. Okay, so we'll hold up the sword, we'll hold up the shield, and fucking hope something happens. Teleport up to the roof. Eternatus, you better ready your ass. Boy, we got them fucking dogs in the house. Let's go. Hop, let the fuck go with the shield. Oh, these are going to become the big boy weapons now. Boom! Let's get it! Oh, fuck yeah. 
That's some king shit right there. Look, they even fixed Zacian's ear. You go, boys. Nothing can stand it. See, he has traffic cones inside his hands. Uh, let's actually look up. When can you catch Eternatus? Right before... Okay, we have to defeat him. Okay, so that's fine. Alright. Let's scald him up. Thanks. Except I was going to use a special attack move, so that really doesn't help me at all. Nice. See, they have, like, the sword. Everyone's attack gets stronger. And they have the shield. Everyone's defense gets more bigger. Oof. And that drops our attack. Hop, why are you using double edge? You moron. Of course, why am I using Scald? Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well done. He's gonna make a shield with his face and run the fuck into him. Alright. Oof. Oof. Boy, I hope I don't faint Zacian here. That sucks. Stop using double edge! Oops. Oops. Body press? Max Ooze. Yeah, oops. Ooh, high horsepower. Smart. Now you're thinking with portals. Okay, stat changes and abilities are cancelled. That's cute. That's the lighthouse. Oh, we're seeing like images from around Gower. Thank you, leftovers. Crunch. Bye, Snorlax. Oh, 
Okay. That should line me up, Zamazenta. End this. End this now. Ooh, light screen wore off. That's no good. Corviknight coming in. Well, now we're fucked. Ah, yeah! Eternatus can't eat berries anymore! Good job, Hop. Zamazenta, use Behemoth Bat. No? Light screen? Light screen? Thanks. I guess Wormwind is probably a special move, so... That helps. Our sunlight. Thank you, leftovers. Second to last body press. Don't even need it. Oh, wait. We do need it. Wide guard is smart. Although, it doesn't really hurt that bad. Boom. Kaboom. Yep. Toss her Ultra Ball, might as well. Whoop. Ultra Ball going out. Traffic Cones! He's got Traffic Cones in his fingers. I stand by this. Boom. Also, for the record, I did not need to use the Ultra Ball. Any Pokeball you throw has a 100% catch rate here. But, hey. Whatever. Alright. We stopped the darkest day. And now they're like, give us that Pokeball so we can destroy Eternatus once and for all. Nope. They just jump off the roof. So it's fine. Very cool. So that was the plot. And we were teleported back to Winden. Magically. Over three days. Ugh. Thought I had to sneeze. But apparently I didn't. But I still kind of do. Yeah. Yep. Rose sucks. You reboot yourself. God, those two were fun, lighthearted. You slept like the dead. You slept for three days. Yeah, that was three days ago, Hop. I'm sure. Okay. Man, stupid hotel with all their rules, like, can't ride your Pokemon bike in the, in the hotel. Oh wait, there's an item here. Uh, the stadium. Monorail noises. Hmm. Okay, we need to do two things in the Poke Center. First, we need to heal up. Yep. Yeah. And secondly, we need to drop off Eternatus, because we're not using that fucker. Great. 
Don't care. There we go. Gotta turn this. Well, Ragnarok. Tar shot would be really fun to have. Is it worth giving up Earthquake? I say yes. Eighteen thirty-one is our current play time. I actually have forty-eight minutes left to stream, so better be done by then. Uh, sure. Ooh, cool logo. All right, boys, this is it. It's just me and Ragnarok against Leon. Hey, Leon. Hey, Lamau. My matches are always sold out, but this is wild. This is more than sold out. It's, it's sold in. We're a real hero. We battle, I battled along the legendary Pokemon. Couldn't dream of a better challenger. It's true. And he's like, why do you have that one fucking fire and rock type? Hell yeah, we are. Okay. So, I remember that Leon has a Charizard. I do not remember anything else about his team. Um, I do think this match has, like, one of the best build-ups of most of the championship matches. Because you have heard about this guy, and heard about this guy, and heard about this guy. Like, all get... Come on, Leon. Aegis Slash? Really? Really? But he has a pretty powerful t team. He has a level 62 to start off with. That's lame as hell. But Flamethrower should take care of him this round. There we go. Oh, you're like your brother. You like to compliment people on their super effective moves. Yeah. Great. Haxorus as a second choice. Very good, very good. Mold Breaker. Um. Oh, shit. That, you are right. That's why I'm doing this. I'll also drop his speed. My leftovers should be enough to keep me alive. And we can now hit him with flamethrower. Although he will move first. That does KO. Good. Thank you, Tarshot.
Rhyperior coming up. Great choice. Um, I do have Scald, which will probably be enough to take care of him. Awesome. Oh, that's just sad. Now, if I had stuck with my starter, that would be really smart, because Rillaboom would definitely counter um, my Sobble. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was lucky. Dragapult is in. This is a uh, ghost type, dragon ghost. Um, so we actually cannot hit with the fighting move. So I think our best option here is to start with the tar shot. Hope Shadow Ball doesn't do too much. It doesn't. Stats were not lowered, but he is weaker to fire, which is the one that really matters. Shadow Ball is going to hit again. Hope it doesn't crit. It does not. Oh. That is uh, maybe the first time all game that I've seen Flamethrower actually burn someone. Probably because I've gotten so many one hits on it. We're getting a Charizard, and that's going to be Dynamax, baby. Okay. Gigantamax Charizard coming in. The risk here is that he knows maybe a ground move. Everything else should be fine. We got 278 health. If he's got... Yeah, like this... Well... That was a good choice. Not as good as Max Geyser, but that was a good choice. We'll hit with Max Geyser again. The full restore was smart. Very smart. I don't remember if rain powers up water moves. If it does, this is a KO. It does. Unless that was correct. It was not. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. That was Leon's Charizard. Yep, we defeated Champion Leon, who's pissed, but he's happy. He's happy. Someone finally beat him. He took his hat off and fell to the ground. He died. And we got $15,000 straight from Leon's pocket, apparently. Because we haven't even left the field yet, so it's not like someone else gave us those. And 
and black screen. Drop it. Nope, we're back. Leon has pissed his pants. Mom and Hop are real excited. Congratulations, Flynn. You've beaten the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You become a first rate trainer, alright. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. It's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. This is some climate change messaging right here. And you, Flynn, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead. Keep on blasting ass. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Flynn. Fireworks, 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 fireworks. Woo! Bet you can't wait to see what few ah. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. And then the epilogue, Leon beats the shit out of you. Back in the hotel. Oh yeah. All right. So we get some nice closing credits here. Listen, guys, this was fun. Um, I played through Pokemon Sword for the first time last year. It was actually the first Pokemon game I ever finished. So getting to come back to it this summer, I finished last summer um, when you know lockdown had started. Um, I was at home all the time. I um, had actually just switched jobs. Like my my teaching job had finished. I was um, I was doing some summer teaching, but I was also like doing some website design and things. Um, and it was just great to play through and through and through. And um, having it this summer as like a follow up to that, totally awesome. Um, yeah, just really cool to come back to it after all the time, especially now like having seen all the stuff in the VPP and like understanding like kind of where this comes from. Really, really cool. All right, um, lots of motion designers on this game. The I, I have to commend like the. I know that people really dog on Sword and Shield for graphics, but some of them are actually pretty cool. Heat Crash has a nice little animation with, uh, uh, what's his name? Colossal, like, jumping on the enemy, falling down on them. That's really cool. Um, Icicle Crash had a nice one. I liked that one from today. Um, the, particularly the G-Max moves are pretty well designed. I don't know about, the, like, the, the Dynamax moves are eh, but... I, I think they're really cool, but I know that, like, um, like, Max Geyser is just water, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I really like the moves in this game, and, uh, I had a great time with it. Characters, too, really well defined. Um, I liked today, you kind of got to see all these characters that were, like, the major, I would say the most interesting characters in the game. Like, Nessa is a pretty, pretty good one. Um, early on, you kind of get a feel for her. It's like, like, really got a temper to her. Um, we got to see uh, Marnie, who's all really sweet, like definitely competitive, but really sweet. Um, we got to see like Pierce, who kind of has this like down, you know, he feels down about himself all the time. Um, doesn't think he's that good, but he plays a key role in like overthrowing um, Oleana. And past that, you also get to see, like, some other characters. Like, I think Hop is fine. Leon, I think, has a really nice, like, build-up. Um, you get to see early on that everybody, like, knows him and everything. And then you get to, like, almost fight him a couple times, but you finally... Like, he's definitely one of the more, like, celebrity-ish champions to me because you see him so many times. Um, it's like, oh, yeah, that guy. Uh, whereas, like, you know, the champion from Gen 6 was, like, some random movie actress who you see a couple times, but not really in the context of Pokemon. You're just like, oh, she's just a movie actress hanging out in a cafe. So, I liked the flow of this game a lot better. This is also the first gen that really has, like, Pokemon set up as, like, a sport more than, like, just a cultural thing. Um, like, there's the stadiums built in the different towns, and, you know, you have these gyms that are, like, 
competing for like major league and minor league definitely has connections to like uh, European football and how that works in Britain. But I really appreciated like, oh hey, this actually makes sense. Like this is a competitive thing. It's a sport. Like everybody in the region participates and they go see these matches because they're like, you know, famous people are in them. I liked that a lot. Whoa, that's a lot of logos. Very cool. Thank you, everyone. You, you're welcome, I, I guess. Thank you guys for making a cool game. Um, so, yeah, this has been amazing. Amazing. So, this has been Pokemon Sword, and we're going to do our little wrap up here where we usually go and talk to Mom. Um, I'll have to think about whether I want to do sort of the post game content presented by Game Freak. Um, I have to think about whether I want to do the post-game content, but for now, I'm not going to jump into all that. Alright, Mom, where you at? Oh, it's a ding-dong. Who's this? Oh, Magnolia. Oh, right, Professor Magnolia. Thank you. Need that. So you actually don't get the Master Ball until the game is over in uh, Gen 8, which is kind of crazy. Okay, well that's cool. So now I have the Master Ball. Alright, I will try my hardest. Thank you, Professor. Okay. Well, yeah, that's really sad. She probably feels real bad. Okay. Um, I guess I should go outside before I save, just to make sure there's not, like... Okay. So, adventure to your heart's content. Gower region is yours to explore. Uh, it's probably a check-in with Hop. Nope. Okay. Well, boys, I'm going to save. Um, this has been great. We spent 1846. Uh, it looks like on the game they don't actually give you a, a clock so I think that's 18, 1846 sounds fair probably burned a minute or two in there um, but that's okay and yeah so that was Pokemon Sword and uh, yeah if I if I do some of the post game content that'll probably be in the morning like this week maybe slightly into next week although um, the 30th is next Monday yeah, hey, Masaru, thanks a lot for tuning in. I appreciate you dropping in, and have a good day at work. Um, and I'll hope to catch you on Friday for your Soul Link stream, which sounds awesome. But yeah, so um, not super likely that I'll be on again this, this weekend. There's a chance I might get in one stream next week, like Monday, Tuesday, leaning towards no. So we're probably not going to get to see all the post-game content for S.H.I.E.L.D., but I have this saved on my Switch in case I ever need to come back to it. So, yeah, I think we're going to call that uh, a day and a month. Um, so listen, this has been Gen 8. Uh, this is Pokemon Sword. We did one Pokemon challenge. We played through the whole game with Roly Coley, Carcoal, and then Colossal, um, which was super fun and highly recommend it. Um, next month is September. We're going to be getting into the remakes. So we're starting off with Fire Red, Leaf Green, and shoot, what's the third? Hold on, I gotta check this. So we, I, I know there, uh, hmm, I'd like to actually tell you guys this. It's Fire Red, Leaf Green, and something from a later gen. Game assignments, let's see. Uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Those are going to be me and Sermina, respectively. And Heart Gold is going to be the other game we play uh, next month. That's going to be Cam. We're kind of going back to Gen 2. Um, with that, but really, I think more like Gen 4, because Heart Gold is, is a remix of the original Gold. 
So, you're going to get to see some of the remakes from Gen 1 and Gen 2, but really Gen 3 and Gen 4. Um, that'll be September. And in October, you have to look forward to the other remakes. So we'll have Soul Silver, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Um, so yeah, lots of fun stuff coming up. It's going to be an exciting fall with VPP. Um, I'm not going to have very much time on my hands, so I, I really need to get into this next set of games quickly and hopefully do well. Um, but... I think that should be possible. I'll manage. I'll get through it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this fall, playing the games, um, coming back to some old hits, and moving forward also into some new stuff, sort of, in November. Um, we'll talk more about that when the time comes. But for now, uh, this is the Vintage Pokemon Project. This has been Pokemon Sword with me, Peter. And um, that's the end of the game. So I'm going to hand off. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to roll the BRB screen. And I will see you guys next time, probably Sunday, for our next Sunday update. Peace out, homies.